I think the reason they hate Milo is because he is supposed to be one of their trained pets. They, they like blacks to be their little pawns. They like gays to be their little pawns. And trannies, especially, they have to be their little pawns. And they have to follow the narrative. When Caitlyn Jenner says, I'm a Republican, I respect the Constitution, that screws with their whole narrative. It's, it's like your gerbil bites you. No, 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 no. You have to follow my narrative. So they're especially mad at Milo, the way they're especially mad at black conservatives, the way they're especially mad at the Hotep movement, because they don't like it when their pets get out of line. Well, your pet got out of line, and he's right. Um, look, we've got... When is uh, Nero coming on? He's oh, available. he's here. Hey, Nero. How are you, darling? How are you? I'm fine, darling. How are you? <laughs> I'm very well. I was listening to your story about your dad being violent, and it reminded me of a very funny thing that happened to me. Wait, are you um, doing an exaggeration of a British gay, or that's you? No, you know what I sound like. I'm on a show every fucking week. I think normally what happens is I'm dealing with my colleagues who work in L.A. during the day. So stop it. Stop it. I'm this sorry, so darling. I'm sorry. See, I love your bonnet. What's that on the back of your head? Oh, no. it's my, I'm growing the blonde out. Oh, so I have terrible roots, so. you see. So I've got to wear this this hat. <laughs> he always takes the piss. This guy always takes the piss out of me, right? I stay up until 3.30 a.m. to do his show. And I come on and he's like, is this really you? Are you really? Do you speak like this? And will you stop? Your head. I forget right. how it's, gay you are, I guess, is what the truth of the matter is. Oh, shut up. Sorry, go ahead. Anyway, I was just <laughs> I was recalling um, a, a, a similar story. So my dad used to do security. He, had, he used to own pubs and nightclubs, and he used to supply all the security to, the, to, um, to his own pubs and nightclubs. And as a small child, I would sometimes be allowed to sit on the cash desk and uh, do the stamps, you know, when you pay. Um, somebody else would, some blonde thing would do the money and I'd get to do the stamps on the wrist and people used to ask me, what's your dad like? He must be kind of like a Tony, like a Greek Tony Soprano or something. And I was like, well, yeah, I'll tell you the story. So I'm doing the stamps one night and um, How this old were altercation. you? I don't know, like 12 maybe or something. Um, probably younger, probably like 10. And there's an altercation at the front door. I, I mean, he'd get in so much trouble these days if, if I was on the desk, but there's an altercation at the front door and uh, there's all this rowdiness and somebody says, get Nicky, get Nicky. And Nicky's my dad. So my dad kind of lumbers down like Tony Soprano. If he was Greek and a bit less of a pussy, I think I'm says, what's going on? What's going on? You know, what's, what's the problem here? Um, and they sort of have a, an argument and Nicky says, well, I'm sorry, mate, you're not coming in. If they said you're not coming in, you're not coming in. And the guy looks at my dad and says, um, no one ever says no to you, do they, Nicky? And my dad says, People say no to me all the time. They say, no, Nicky, no! Um, <laughs> and, and, then he, and then he knocks the guy out. Um, <laughs> so wait a minute. Your dad has a working class job accent and you have that poncy, faggy accent? Well, my mother's very posh and my mother sent me to good schools. So your dad made money owning clubs because we never really cracked Milo's background. We just know well, that he can go to Gamergate <laughs> things in Miami and then fly over somewhere else and cancel flights willy-nilly. Always, always on a plane, darling. It's terrible. So isn't it weird, though, when you're like, <laughs> darling, I absolutely adore you, Daddy. Um, would you like to procure some alcoholic beverages? And, he, and your dad's like, yo, a lot of pint of fucking Guinness, you fucking punts. That's basically what happens, yes. Um, so I'll phone him up and I'll say, I'll what's say your Daddy, relationship Daddy, with him like? I'll just say, Daddy, how are you? And he'll say, I'm doing oh, all right. Well, son, I'm all, I'm all right, son. I mean, you know, things have been all right. Um, I'm all right. Well, I'm, my I'm, fucking I'm, son's a ponce. Besides that, I'm doing all right. He's <laughs> got a so fucking tea cozy on his fucking head. He looks like a raisin <laughs> took a shit in his hair. Look, look, motherfucker. Look, I understand that, you know, aside from your ridiculous facial hair, you don't put that much care into your appearance. But some of us, oh, you know, have like this crazy, mate. I'm fucking primped and preened. Primped and fucking preened, I am. <laughs> if you say so. Um, no, so what my dad will typically say is, um, well, it's been all right, son. I mean, I went around collecting. And by collecting, I, I, I've never really worked it out, and I don't want to know. I presume he means protection money. He said, well, I've been, I've been around collecting. You know, I just went down there. I won't give you the name of the pub, but went down, went down the pub, and, you know, got the money out. And um, and, and uh, anyway, the, the, the landlord's there, and he says, um, he says, Nicky, I haven't got any money. I haven't got it for you, mate. I just can't do it. So I say to him, Julian, can you, uh, can you take your glasses off, please? 
And by this time, I'm just thinking, my God, Dad, what are you about to tell me? And he says, um, he says Julian, I want you to take your glasses off because I don't want to get glass in my finger when I pull your fucking eyeball out. Um, so, you know, <laughs> <laughs> so as you can as you can see, I had the best possible start in life. Does this turn on your uh, gay boyfriends? Is it all a myth? Do they, uh, <laughs> how, how does he feel about it? Because gayness is so old. In fact, Archie Bunker in the 70s famously said, England is a fag country. So is there the same kind of stigma there would be in Brooklyn with a blue-collar dude and a gay son? Um, I don't know. I mean, I think my, my dad was much better about it than my mom. My, my dad just said, um, well, it's not what I choose for your son, but as long as you're safe and you're happy, and, you know, if you get into trouble... Obviously, I'll send the boys around. Uh, <laughs> meaning, if anyone ever tries to take advantage, they'd end up dead. They'd end up in a bag in the woods. Um, nice. my, my dad used to come home with these mysterious packages. I said, what's that, Dad? Said, just, just bags, son. I said, what do you mean, bags? And I'd look in, and they were like, they looked to me like suit carriers, but they were a little bit too big for suit carriers. <laughs> and I said, Dad, what are these? He went, well, son, sometimes. What, they were human beings? No, 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 no. They were just the bags. They were body bags. They, ah. he had, well, you got body bags. And I'm sure it was just for show because my dad was such an exhibitionist. That's where I get it from. But, but he, he, he would say something like, well, oh, son, sometimes they do, you know, they just got to end up in the woods. And there's so nothing you're, else like, you're like Tony Soprano's son. You can be this arrogant <laughs> and, and challenge people because you know that if it ever gets serious, they will vanish. They will, they will vanish. There's that wonderful. Um, have you ever seen the Lil Wayne deposition video where he's talking to the lawyer and he go, and he's and he says, um, you know, uh, you know, he can't save you in the real world, right? You know, he can't save you. And he's talking about the judge and he's talking to the lawyer and the lawyer's like, is that a threat? Pull that up, rat. And li and Lil Wayne's lawyer is like, no, no, it's not a threat. Next question, next question. And Lil Wayne's like, he can't save you. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, that's pretty much um, that's pretty much the situation. People just disappear and end up up the woods. Some. Um. <laughs> so your mom, your mom was more annoyed because the upper class in Britain is so used to faggotry that they go, "Oh, Nero, no! You're well, supposed just to only do that in public school, and you've exactly. continued into reality." She, she presumed that, it's like eating like, too much chocolate or something. <laughs> right. She presumed that, like all other good children, I would you know get banged at, at uh, boarding school. Um, um, grow out of it and have a nice wife and kids, but sadly, I've um, I've ended up a coal burner, um, and and I'm bringing home lots of dark skinned boyfriends to horrify her. Perfect segue to your <laughs> prime minister. Wait, he's not your prime minister anymore. Yes. No, he is our prime minister. He's oh. our sitting prime minister. Um, who skull fucked a pig? Well, this is the rumor. which I used this to do in my single days on a regular basis. Well, this is the thing you see. What makes me want so the story is this: David Cameron is our prime minister, very posh, very rich, and very posh, very rich people at Oxford and Cambridge, the two good universities. He went to the other one. I went to the, the proper one. Um, you know, he went to Oxford. Uh, That's a line in with nail and I, by the way. I thought it was a line in all of those. Did you go <laughs> to Cambridge or the other one? The other. They all put it the other place. Yeah. Um, the. Um, the story goes that as part of an elite drinking and debauchery society, of which there are many for um, rich and posh people to, to while away the hours at Oxford, that he, as part of an initiation ritual, placed a, a sensitive part of his anatomy into the, head, the dead head of a pig. Um, now, I'm reading this story, and this is this, the guy who's written this book with these revelations is a billionaire, and he's had it in for Cameron for years after Cameron stiffed him. Um, and the best he can come up with is a bit of hijinks from university. My gay friends and I are reading this and thinking, bitch, is that it? Like, seriously, that's it? He smoked a spliff and he fucked a pig? Like, <laughs> like bitch, please. You know, it's like, I, I call that Tuesday. Um, so I don't think it's going to be particularly damaging for Cameron. I think it's, uh, it's only going to burnish his lad credentials. Right. He didn't make love to a pig on a regular basis because he was a sociopath who lived on a farm and had a dead pig for a girlfriend. It's no. called hijinks at a exactly. frat. And, you know, it just goes to show what a bizarre, sheltered life these horrible progressive journalists have had. You know, these terrible hand ringers who, if they were smart enough to get into Oxford or Cambridge, were the ones sitting there horrified and timid in the, you know, in the, in the, in the JCR or whatever, like, you know, never having the balls to talk to anybody while the rest of us were off having fun. Um, yeah. the, the, the underlying message of all of these news stories is David Cameron had a lot more fun at college than you did. And frankly, fair play to him. I, I've, I actually didn't have a particularly high opinion of the prime minister until this week now i think hey, it sounds like a bit of a lad i probably would have laughed with it myself we used to have a game in because canada was about half brits 
in, uh, mm-hmm. British expats and half locals. Mm-hmm. And so it was half foreskins, half circumcised. Right. And you would be at Docking. a party. Did you dock with each other? No. Do you know what that is? No, we were not fucking fags. <laughs> we would not put I'm, our penises into each other's penises. I keep being misled by your facial hair and your dress sense. I can only apologize. <laughs> So we would be at a party and, and we your would chaps, go, your leather chaps, that photograph of you on a bicycle in leather chaps. I have, you know, look, I lost my virginity in a five sim with two drag queens and I've never seen anything that gay. I was that wearing, of you first of all, right Nero, thing, pull up that picture from my Instagram seen. if you can, Ben. Please do pull up this picture. I was wearing this, black this, pants, not, not chaps, black viewer. pants, there, a black I, leather jacket, which there was is no way to tell normal sure. safety wear, there was black no boots. no way to tell for sure whether there was an ass or no ass in those trousers. It was not clear from the picture and at that you know look i'm just telling this you is what gays always do they I always inscribe in gayness on other gay. people they'll no, be no, like I oh that. i met your I dad he's that. clearly in the closet to- I don't want to claim anyone for homosexuality. I wouldn't want to inflict that misery and horror on anyone unless I really dislike them. Okay, I'm not a fan. I'm, I, I hate queers, but um, that photo was the gayest thing that I have ever seen. And I, please pull it out for your viewers because every single one of them is going to agree with me. So you stole we'll this. You know, you want you don't want to avoid accusations of, of homosexuality. Stop dressing like you do. I was wearing perfectly normal motorcycle gear <laughs> that all like motorcycle people out. wear. Like it's actually safety people. gear because you don't want to wipe and out. I did a and double take. I was like, is this guy going to burst into YMCA? I mean, you know, on this ridiculously like overstyle motorcycle, it was the gayest thing I've ever seen. But I won't hold I'm it getting against fucking you. Pissed. I, it's the gayest thing I've ever seen. But I forgave you because I know that at heart, like me, you're a homophobe. So, uh, you know, we're, we're cool. Homopho- homosexuals are albinos. They just were born with a weird, they're like vegetarian lions. And they were born with these fangs that are meant for tearing flesh, but they don't tear flesh. They have tofu sandwiches. See, you, you and you. Galen here were born to reproduce. You no, have no, genitals I, I built for vaginas. I just, I just, I just, I and you put them in butts. And think, it's no, no, a no. curse in a sense. No, that's, that's, not the, the that's not the jacket. That's, that's the jacket. Not the that's not the photo. But there's a, the there's right a photo of him in all black on a motorcycle. You'll oh, know when you was, see it. You know what? Maybe it was Twitter, Rat. It might take you a while to find fucking... We'll dig it up. You'll know it when you see it because it will be the gayest thing you've ever seen in your life. Um, that's how you'll know it. And that's not going to um, me. No, I mean, I don't agree. I think in, in some ways, gays are a bit of a master race. You know, we consistently test higher for IQ. We earn more money than you guys. We're, uh, you you know, have more, more money than us because you have no responsibilities. We're more, more intelligent. We're more successful in our careers. We're more driven. You know, we're kind of like a master race, really. Intelligent? The, the way you... Where you would be right is lesbians. Lesbians um, are, you know, are the broken, the broken species. I don't really believe in lesbianism at all. And so far as it exists, it's just miserable women, um, you know, who, who they do wander seem off. pretty miserable, don't they? Wander, oh, of course. Well, the only lesbians anyone actually likes aren't real lesbians. They're women who who lick each other out for money in porn movies. Um, they're not actually lesbians. Oh, there, there we go. 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 There what we is go. gay about I think that? You can definitely tell this, if there's an ass. This is. Oh, you can, but it's just that you're wearing your trousers so low down. Oh, that you you're just, no, I'm speed. not. You That's what happens speed. when you bend hey, look, over a, a you're, bike you're like that. You're pulling your trousers right down because no, you're saying... they're at a normal level. I'm leaning forward so my jacket is riding up. I'm, I'm Zoom McKinnon. in on that, Rat. Gap McKinnison, you want this. That's what that's what this is saying to me. Look, I'm just telling you the messages that you're giving out, okay? I can't tell you what was going through your head. I'm just telling you what viewers are going to see. And the fact that you have posted that, saw that, and thought that was acceptable, like a, an appropriate expression of your heterosexuality is very surprising to me. I mean, look at the look at the expression on this. It's like, oh my god, I'm about to get fucked. No, it was actually <laughs> quite tricky because I was trying to pose for the photo while moving up the driveway mm-hmm. on a gravel road. What bike is that? Is that a good bike? Yeah, it's a Triumph, Triumph Bonneville. Yeah. It's it's a recreation of the original 1968 Cafe Oh, Oh, so it's like retro vintage. It's gay. It's gay. Gay, gay, gay. It's like the you gayest know, thing ever. All Englishmen used to care about design and fashion and important just, things like just, that. The gays stole it from and us. Fame. And now we have men in sweatpants and cargo shorts who have no interest whatsoever in aesthetics. And that's a sad thing. I wanted thing. to hate that BuzzFeed article because BuzzFeed did this article. Or you've zoomed in on me. BuzzFeed did that article. Actually, my skin is fine. Um, BuzzFeed did that article about cargo pants. Like, men, please stop wearing cargo pants. And everybody was upset about it. It's just like, well, you wouldn't tell women what not to wear. But I, can't, I was kind of behind it because, you know, any man in cargo pants needs to reevaluate his life. Very true. Very true. Uh, Nero, we got to go because I can't sure. look at that fucking tea cozy on your head anymore. Oh my! Look, it's just I'm growing this blonde out. It's gonna. It's a disaster. Look at it. This is. This oh, is it's what a I look. disaster. 
It's not it's not worse than a tea cozy. <laughs> Thanks, Milo. Thanks so much. You take care now. Bye. You guys a fang. That's quite an experience, Gavin.